morning. Um, I came uh, across a kind of a cool verse this morning while, when I was reading, and I, I felt inspired to share it just because it's, it describes Jesus in his, um, in his power and his ability to, to create and maintain the universe. And um, it's kind of implied in these verses that if he can maintain the universe, if he can maintain every single star, every single molecule in its place, um, he can maintain your life too, and he will maintain your life. Um, I think there's even another verse that says that um, in him, in Jesus Christ, all things are held together and all things consist. So you never have to feel like your life is falling apart because Jesus keeps your life all together. So I'm just going to re read from it. We're in Isaiah chapter 40, if you want to turn there. You can read along too. I'll also put the uh, verses in the description, it's just so you can read along. I'm going to start in verse um, 10. Behold, the Lord God shall come with a strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead those who are with young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, measured heaven with a span, and calculated the dust of the earth in a measure? Weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance. Who has directed the spirit of the Lord, or as his counselor has taught him? With whom did he take counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? It's implied that no one did. God knows everything. He knows everything about your life, and he knows how to take care of it, too. Yeah, it's kind of a long passage, but you can read the whole passage if you want. Um, I'm just going to kind of skip to verse, um, verse 25. To whom then will you liken me, says God, or to whom shall I be equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things, who brings out their host by number. He calls them all by name, like he numbers the stars and he knows every single one by name. By the greatness of his might and the strength of his power, not one is missing. And it goes on to say, Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my just claim is passed over by God. Have you not known, have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he never faints, nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. And everyone knows like that last part. Um, but yeah, I what kind of caught my eye was that one part where it says, Why do you say that my way is hidden from the Lord, and my just claim is passed over by God? I don't know if maybe you've had something on your mind that you've been asking God for, and um, sometimes like when we ask God for things, and maybe if we don't see it happen immediately, we think that God forgets about it, or we think that God's just not going to lift a finger to help us, but he's always interacting in our lives, and even if we don't see it, he's always working. Like there's a song called Waymaker, and the lyrics go like, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I can't feel it, you are working. So God is always working behind the scenes in your life. Um, and he gives you hope. Like the first verse that he woke me up with this morning is the Holy Spirit gives us hope. I think it's in Romans, Romans 8. One of the chapters in Romans says that the Holy Spirit, hope does not disappoint us because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through his spirit who's been given to us. So um, it, is not, it is not unbiblical to get your hopes up for um, the best to happen in your day. You can expect the best because you are righteous by faith. You're justified. God has taken away all the punishment. He's taken away all the judgment that would have come for your sins if Jesus had not died on the cross. So um, there are good things going to happen today. It's going to be a good day. Um, God promises so. So you can have hope for it too. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you, um, if you have been asking God for help, or if you've been asking God for a solution to your problem, or you're seeking wisdom from him, he is not going to fail you. He's not going to let you down. Everyone who came to Jesus in the scriptures, they all received the help that they needed from him. And uh, it didn't matter what their lifestyle looked like. It didn't matter if they had sin or if they 
um, if they had not like kept all of God's commandments. Like it's not about the commandments anymore. God's word says we're not under the law, so it's not God blessing you in your life does not depend on how much you keep the law, His law. It's about it's all about Jesus. He has paid the price. He's fulfilled the law on the cross, and now He's purchased for us every single blessing, which is all yes and amen. And if you like, if you want a good idea of what, what's a blessing and what's a curse, um, you can go to Deuteronomy 28. You can see everything that Jesus has bought for you and every curse that Jesus has rescued you from. You never have to suffer from it. And I feel like a lot of people don't um, enjoy that because they don't know. God's word says, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. And um, but yeah, he will feed his sheep. He will feed his sheep. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. So God's going to feed you today. He's not going to um, put pressure on you or to put um, unrealistic demands on you. We're not under the law. He loves you. So I hope that encouraged you. I hope that fed you for today. Um, yeah, <laughs> every promise is yes in Christ. It's not a maybe. You can have confidence in his promises, even if you haven't seen it happen yet. He is working behind the scenes to make your life beautiful. So peace.